The Lions were unable to overcome a 27-point second half from FDU Forum as they fell 49-34 to the Devils at homecoming. The Lions started off the game with Jimmy LaHaye hitting Kevin Zayner in stride for a 56-yard touchdown pass on the first offensive play of the game after a good kick return from freshman Jalen Lawson. The Lions missed the extra point and the Devils struck back on third and 20 with a 91-yard touchdown pass to take a 7-6 lead at the 13-04 mark in the first quarter. LaHaye then found Kyle Dickerson for an 84-yard touchdown pass on third and 16 on the ensuing drive to give the Lions the lead back at 13-7. That pass play was the third longest in Lions program history. The Devils then scored on a 39-yard touchdown pass on fourth and 10 to take a 14-13 lead at the 9-13 mark. The Lions later used a 15-play, 86-yard drive to take the lead back at 20-14 with 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Dickerson took an end around to the right corner of the end zone from five yards out for the touchdown. The Devils opened the second quarter by going 75 yards in nine plays to retake the lead at 21-20 on a four-yard touchdown pass at the 11-41 mark. LaHaye then found Dickerson for the second time to give the Lions a 27-21 lead with just over three minutes left in the second quarter. Junior defensive back Kamal Stewart would intercept an errant throw on the Devils' second play of the next drive to give the Lions a chance to extend the lead before halftime. LaHaye hit Dickerson again with an 18-yard touchdown pass to give the Lions a 34-21 lead at halftime. FDU opened the third quarter with the ball and drove 75 yards in 11 plays to cut the Lions' lead down to 34-27 at the 11.03 mark. With 1.15 left in the third quarter, Devil quarterback Jaeger Green found Demarcus Price on 4th and 11 on the jump ball in the right corner of the end zone for the score. On the line's next drive, LaHaye was intercepted by Isaiah Turner, who would race 45 yards for the touchdown. FDU would later drive 55 yards in eight plays to put the game away on a nine-yard touchdown pass, which brought the final score to 48-34. to The Lions will return to action on Saturday, October 6th, when they will travel to face Wilkes at 1 p.m.